Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Jenna and I film a bunch of like fashion, lifestyle, hauls and styling videos, vlogs, all that kind of stuff. So today we are doing a Saturday in my life in New York City. I woke up pretty early. It's currently 7.45 and I got up at 7.00. And I'm getting ready. So I'm already like half dressed. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Charcoal Clothing. And then I have on my leather straight leg pants, but I'll show you guys them in a second. But I thought I would do a little get ready with me because I have some time before I have to leave and go shoot with Avery. So we are meeting at 8.30. I know it sounds like crazy hardo <laughs> for a Saturday morning, but we just love... Sorry, you guys probably couldn't hear me over wetting my beauty blender, but... Um, we love getting out there in Soho when it's really, really quiet out. And on the weekends, the stores don't open until 11. So like the tourist population doesn't really come out into the scene until then. And we just like for it to be quiet for like shooting and stuff so that we're not like in people's way, because that's like one of the challenges of filming in New York city is that like, it's a good thing because there's so many people that you just don't care and you don't have to worry about like being judged because like that is the least weird thing in New York City but also like with so many people being out it's kind of hard to stay out of people's way and sometimes we feel bad sometimes people get mad at us so we're just trying to not do that so 8 30 we are going to be meeting we're going to do three outfits I have um been trying to strategize so that I don't really have to change that much when we went yes so <laughs> i should mention that we also went and shot yesterday so me and avery both have nine to five jobs and it's just nice to meet in the mornings when um no one else really can and we also shoot with um our friend anastasia and steph roca sometimes before work but um so we went yesterday we met at like 7 15 and we were done at 7 45 like it was crazy we were both super quick and it'll be nice today to not have to rush like that because i was going to new jersey actually because i am in my old office all of this week setting up for an event for my company so i was in new jersey monday through friday i was on my feet for probably 10 hours both days actually both days it was five days also guys i'm using this concealer obviously you can see um but it is the greatest match ever i've never had someone from sephora actually match my concealer perfectly they always do like because i say that i don't want to have dark circles and then i need more coverage usually they match me to a shade lighter than my skin tone but then it ends up looking like i'm trying to highlight under my eyes and I feel like that's not really a thing anymore. And I don't really want that to be a thing on my face. So this color was absolutely perfect. It's the Huda Beauty Concealer. If you guys saw one of my previous vlogs when I was home, I got this from Sephora. And I got it in the shade 3.3. So it's a neutral toned concealer if you guys are looking for one. It is a little bit pricier considering the size of the packaging. I think it's like $30. Um... But I think it's worth it because it's something that I wear every single day and like my dark circles are gone and they were really full force this morning. I got about five hours of sleep last night. So that is kind of showing and this concealer just takes that all away, which we love. Um, also, the tinted moisturizer I applied was the Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. And I've had that for probably three years. I need to throw it out, but... It's just one of my tanner foundations and I forgot to use my tanning drops over the past week just because I've been so tired getting home from work and I'm pale. So we're trying to fix that and we're just going to use some products in order to, you know, not look like we are a zombie. Um, so yeah, I was at work all this week and it was like very um, taxing on my body. Like I'm actually sore and I didn't go to the gym once. I actually haven't been to the gym in a really long time and I feel like this was my punishment. Uh, <laughs> but I was like lifting boxes and organizing and all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited for this weekend because it's going to be kind of like a chill one and then kind of a fun one. So tonight I have a Halloween party and I also forgot to mention that this weekend is Halloween weekend because Monday is Halloween. 
sorry, I'm looking in the mirror behind the camera if you guys are wondering. Um, so we are dressing up. My friend Jenna is gonna come into the city and we are gonna get ready together and then we're gonna go meet my boyfriend and his friends. And we're gonna go to this place in Tribeca, which I'm really excited for. And I last minute got a costume. I was gonna be Holly Golightly from Breakfast at Tiffany's for the third or fourth year in a row. I can't really remember how many years I've been doing it. I think it would have been my third. Um, I need to get my eyeliner. Also, another new product. I just put on the blush. It's the Rose Ink in the shade Camellia. Wait, I thought this was supposed to be an Azalea. No, I think it's this one. But it's a really, I mean, there's like brush things, bristles in it from my blush brush because it's a really old brush and I actually got new ones that you guys would have seen. Um, but I love this shade of pink. It's also a cream blush, so it looks like very integrated with my skin, if that makes sense. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top like powder blushes can do. And I have a powder blush that I love, but I just feel like this looks a little bit more natural. If anything, I'll set this blush with a powder one, but I've really been loving the cream products. I haven't tried cream bronzer yet. I don't know if I actually will, because I feel like it's a little bit hard to manipulate. The only one I would probably get is like the Chanel Tan de Sol that is a little bit more like, it's like a powdery, it's like a powdery, it's kind of like this texture, but it's not like as, um, I can't use any other word besides sticky. That's like the best way I can describe it. We've also got a green juice. I made, I don't know why I just said it's green juice. It's the energy multiplier from Liquid IV. And I was going to have a plain old Liquid IV this morning, but I was like, I kind of want to do this one because it's a little bit, I don't know, it has the electrolytes in it and then it also is like an energy multiplier. So it like hydrates and energizes your body. And, and I was like, I kind of need that at 7 a.m. on a Saturday. So really good. I also kind of want to eat something before I leave. And I was going to make just like a quick piece of toast, but I realized I don't have butter. So I wasn't going to go food shopping at all this week because I was expecting to stay in New Jersey for a good portion of the week because my New Jersey office is obviously <laughs> closer to my home and like where I'm from, but I decided not to for like three of the days, I think. Okay, so makeup is done. I know it looks like it's not really a lot, but I always shoot with sunglasses on. You guys follow me on Instagram, you're probably like, I don't know why you even put on makeup, but I never put on face makeup and I feel like you can kind of tell, like I, Avery's makeup always looks so good and I'm, I need to ask her what she uses. I think she uses the um, Giorgio Armani foundation, which I don't think I could spend the money on because I have two that I really need to use because I take forever to finish a foundation. As I said, the Bare Minerals one is like four years old. So I gotta chill with the foundation, but I just wanted my makeup to look a little bit more done because I feel like I'm always like, oh, you can't see it in photos. And then I go and take pictures and it just looks like one color. And I want to look like I have a little bit more dimension or like something else going on. So I put a little bit of extra blush on to do that. And then if I end up taking pictures with my sunglasses off, then we can do that. Um, but I'm just heating up my T3 curling iron. I did my hair. I curled it two days ago with the fatter version of this. And now I'm going one size down just because it needs a big touch up. I slept on it. There's a ton of dry shampoo in my hair. I'm like afraid to touch my outfit because every time I put dry shampoo on, I get it all over myself. And especially like with a black outfit, it's on my sleeve right now, right there. So just gonna try to get that out, but I'm wearing a jacket over this anyway. Um, so we're just gonna wait for that to heat up. I actually wanted to wear my hair up in these outfits, but I'm wearing a big coat and I feel like it makes me look really broad if I don't put my hair down. But I've just been like having my hair done in all my pictures lately and I'm like, okay, we've got to do like a clip or a bun, get back to the roots and stuff. Okay, so this was like the longest entryway to a vlog that I've probably done in a really long time. So hopefully I didn't bore you guys. I'm going to show you some new in pieces that I got from Cosenza. It's a jewelry place. And I have one other thing that's like kind of... Like you would think it's, I mean, I would think it's weird, but it's not, like it's the cutest thing ever. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit, but let me just curl my hair quickly and then I will pick you guys back up in a couple minutes. 
Okay, so I just finished outfit prepping. I have to leave in like two minutes. So I'm going to show you guys this and then I'll show you my new in stuff when I get back. But this is actually one of them. So I saw this coat on an Instagram ad and I was completely obsessed with it. It looks like the totem coat, but it honestly, I kind of like this one a little bit better because it looks fluffier. But it's from Abercrombie & Fitch, as you guys can see by the label. I ended up going with the small in this one. I tried on the small and the medium, but the medium just felt like it was... A little bit too oversized and I feel like this coat didn't really need that so went with a small I'm really happy with it I wore it on a day that was like a little chilly I literally wore it out of the store because I was so excited about it but it's actually been like in the 60s over this week so I haven't been able to wear it again but it's chilly this morning so we're gonna shoot that and then I'm kind of trying to keep it's like a prop coffee cup from Maman there's lipstick on it from yesterday but I'm trying to keep the base of the outfit simple and then change around it just so I don't have to change too much, especially since we're kind of like building up an archive and we have a lot of pictures from yesterday. So I have my black charcoal bodysuit that you guys saw when I was getting ready. And then these are the leather pants from AG and I have on Converse. I'm trying to change up my shoes more because if you guys have noticed on my feed, a lot of it is me wearing Converse. So I have my boots and my loafers right here so basically i have the base on i'll have this jacket and then my converse and then i'll change and put the blazer over the outfit with this bag instead and then this belt maybe and then we'll do boots with that one and then the third outfit i have to change my top and my pants so we'll probably go to a coffee shop for that and then i'm going to wear my loafers and then keep the blazer on i wanted to try to change up that jacket but i feel like this is just gonna be it for today. I can't remember what my third outfit was supposed to be that I planned last night. So we're just kind of throwing this together and I'm gonna put all of this into my Herschel bag, sneak peek of my costume right there um, and get going. You guys, strangest thing ever too, side note, <laughs> supposed to be leaving, but I cannot find the strap to this bag. And it's the strangest thing ever because I fully moved out of my old apartment. So it should be here, but I actually can't find it. Thank God I have this one from my other coach tabby top handle bag but it like you know it goes with the bag obviously and it's the same hardware but my other strap is wider and it has like this contrast stitching that the bag has and I'm like where the heck could I have put that so I need to investigate that a little bit later because I found this out last night when I was leaving and I was kind of annoyed about it because I just don't lose things I used to when I was younger but like in my 20s i just like take good care of myself and i don't lose anything so i have no idea where it is i'm gonna check the handbag shelf when i get back and kind of like check in my closet because i feel like that's really the only place it could be i packed my suitcase with my handbags when i moved so i guess i'll check all the pockets in there just in case but i have no idea where it could be normally i wrap it up and i put it inside the bag so i'm like i i have no idea okay you guys i actually just spoke this into existence i found it it was behind this bag in my closet. So I just went to take this out because I want to do this bag with this outfit. That's how I wore it to work and I loved it. So we're going to pop that bag on, but I'm just laughing because of course. You guys, it is stunning weather right now. I'm probably going to end up going for a super long walk later just because it's like, it's definitely chilly. It's like fully gone into the chilled weather now, but this is like glorious that I'm wearing this outfit and it's like a little bit chilly, which is fine. But this is like my favorite weather ever and this is why I love fall so much. It's just such a good reminder. So we're at the Louis Vuitton store. This is where me and Avery are going to shoot. So I think this would be really pretty. Even with like their scaffolding, like why is this the prettiest scaffolding I've ever seen? Ignore the FedEx truck. We will just go probably like right here because I think that looks really pretty in the background. But then across the street, we have someone's butt. Wasn't expecting to see that that early in the morning. <laughs> okay, so this is across the street from Ralph. I mean, this is Ralph Lauren across the street from Louis Vuitton. And it's just the prettiest building. Also this one next to it. This is just like what Soho is about. And that's why I love shooting here so much. It just looks really cool. We have cobblestones, which we love. And maybe I'll show you guys my outfit. Um, okay, so I just went to record what I was wearing and I wasn't recording the entire time. It was like two minutes. Um, but there was a loud truck that went by, so it's probably better. Um, we have the Williams Sonoma bag that has all of my crap in it. We have a puffy jacket in here that you guys saw. It fits so much. My mom gave me this when I was bringing 
my pots and pans back to New York one weekend. Um, but I have the bodysuit that you guys saw before. And then I threw my Zara blazer over it. They sell this still, so I can link it for you guys. And then I have on my coach bag. I love the black and brown combo. It's like my favorite. And then I have jewelry on from Cosenza. I'm gonna film a little video for them. We have a couple tragedies on my nails right now because of all of the warehouse work I've been doing. So I might go get that removed today. Um, and then I put on my Dior belt. I've had a couple questions about this on my Instagram, but I think there's a company that makes a dupe for it. And I'll try to find that and link it for you guys because no one should be spending this much on a belt. The only reason why I did is because I really liked that it was a logo, but it's not very like well known and it's my only belt. So I was like, if I just have one belt in my wardrobe, I think it's okay to spend a little bit more on it, but that's just my justification. And then you guys saw my leather pants that I had on. I hate doing a foot pop, but you guys actually can't see my shoes. So these are my Topshop Crocodile Combat boots. And I wanted to wear them because normally I put skinny jeans on with any kind of boot and I wanted to like do a cool look that was a little bit different for me with putting like my pants over my boots. So. Yeah, that was the thinking behind this outfit. Mostly just the black and brown color combination because like the rest of my outfit is pretty plain. Um, so I feel like the bag really changes it up. And then I'll put on my brown tortoise sunnies and call it a day. But Avery should be here any second. Hey guys, I'm here with Avery. Hi. We are outside of Felix. We just did two outfits. These are them. This is the, <laughs> this is the second one. Um, and we decided that we want to treat ourselves to a $9 coffee. Yep. So. Just a little tip for anyone going to New York City, don't go to Felix unless you're trying to get an experience. And I'm saying this right outside the establishment, so that's probably not that nice. Although it's really good. It's really good and it's really pretty inside, yeah. I would say. So if you want to like use it as like an event. The aesthetic. Yeah, then definitely go. But just a just a fair warning that it's a little bit more expensive than like your five or six dollar coffee in New York. So I'll yeah. let you guys know how much ours is. Yeah. Because I'm probably getting a lot with a bunch of stuff in it. Um but yeah, so we're gonna hop in there now and then we're gonna change and do a third outfit. But we're getting lots done. They're doing like jackhammering down the street. I'm like, so, so it's very quiet when we first got here and then they started doing that. Um, look how cute it is outside. The tables, adorable. All right, you guys, I'm talking to you in the mirror in the closet of the kitchen and slash living room, more so the living room. I just got back from shooting with Avery and this is my outfit for tonight. It basically is like not a queen of hearts dress at all. I mean, maybe it is cause it's like along the lines of that. Um, but I'm just gonna put like the queen of hearts card somewhere on the dress, like maybe at the bottom corner of like the left or the right side. And then I'm gonna take my red lipstick and do like little hearts probably like around my eye here. But I couldn't find a crown anywhere. I went to TJ Maxx, I went to Dwayne Reed and we tried to go to a Halloween store, but on our way down there, I looked it up and I guess I didn't look at the store hours and we walked all the way to Tribeca and it was not even there. It was like fully packed up, not even just closed, like it was fully empty. And I was like, who? gets rid of a Halloween store before it even is Halloween. Like Halloween's on Monday and it's Saturday right now and people need last minute things. I mean, I shouldn't be last minute, but this dress, I literally found it like two days ago, so I didn't really have a choice. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It's a little bit tight, like on my armpits, <laughs> but I'm getting used to it a little bit as I have it on and I would rather be this than be the same thing three years in a row, I think. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. I'll just wear like black booties with it. Probably throw on a leather jacket because it's gonna be a little chillier out now that it's almost November, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, so this is the plan for the outfit and I don't really know how I'm doing my hair. I have to look on Pinterest and stuff to see how people even do that. Um, also I didn't show you guys my case to fight. Actually, I think we did at the end of the last vlog, but I put on my case to fight case already. I love the chestnut brown. It does not look good with discoloring but I wear a lot of black and I feel like it looks cool so I also decided that I want to be the type of person that switches out my case more often just because I feel like it's fun to have a little bit of a change like I put this on 
And it just felt so different from my other case. And I loved that it was just a little bit of change because it just makes it more exciting. Um, so I might be ordering a couple more in the near future, but only from Caseify. They're like the only case that I'll use. Um, but now I'm going to quickly make um, some breakfast, lunch, dinner. What, what is this? Like liner? Um, because I have an engagement party in Hoboken. So I have to shower, get ready for that. I also have to take my gel nail polish off because it's gotten like a cracked like this actually looks horrific um so it's very cracked from um doing all the work in the warehouse and my nails are just like super bendy this one broke and then on the other hand i kind of gave you guys a preview of this this morning but this is also really cracked and dirty this one's completely chipped and my thumb is broken and my pointer is broken this one happened last night why is it not focusing hello hello there we go. Um, so yeah, that happened last night. They just look absolutely tragic. So I'm going to take this off. I just went to, so we have the grilled cheese stuff, stuff set up. I just went to Dwayne Reed and picked up some random things. So we have butter because I ran out. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Hello. Okay, so I have butter because we ran out. Um, the aluminum foil we needed for the kitchen, I made pizzas yesterday directly on the pan because we didn't have any, but I also need it to take off this nonsense. And then I picked up just some Sally Hansen little like nail polish things because I have to paint my nails myself now because um, I don't want to go out without having nail polish on. I feel like it's going to look bad. So I got this color. It's in the shade Racing Rose, very similar to what I'm wearing right now, just a little bit more pink. So yeah, lots to do and I have to be ready in like two hours. So nails are probably gonna take the longest and I have to be pretty much ready because Jenna lives in Hoboken. So we're gonna take the path to Hoboken, go to the engagement party, then meet up with Jenna, come back here, get ready and then go out to the bar. So it's gonna be a little bit of a whirlwind. I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to vlog just because I feel like it's just gonna be very like go, go, go. But yeah, that's what is going on for the rest of the night. And I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, you guys, it's Sunday now and I am getting ready to head out to do some errands and to go to Ralph's Coffee because they have the pink labels for Breast Cancer Awareness Month and it ends tomorrow. So I wanted to get one before it's over and I haven't gone yet. So. I'm gonna take a walk up there, do a couple of errands, go to my old apartment and grab some packages that I left there and just have a day. It's like 5.15 at night. So it's a very strange time for me to wanna to start another vlog, but that means that we're gonna end off this one and there will be a whole separate Sunday in my life vlog coming after this one. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming ones. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon.